So I've been a total idiot today when it comes to videos. My first time recording this, I had it recorded, it was perfect and everything until I accidentally deleted the video file as I had it on the PC through my card reader before transferring it over because I always transfer over the file to my file explorer before I decide to delete the OG. So that was a mess up. And then when I was in the middle of recording the second uh, take of it, in the middle of it, I came to realize I forgot to set a proper wallpaper and just set it to a still image. So I'm a little demotivated for being a dumbass, but hey, mistakes happen. I'm only human, but Let's get it right this time. Third time's the charm, as they say. So, third time, we're doing it right. So, for today's video, we're talking about shorter games. Because shorter games, to me, are good. In most cases, they're better than longer games. And immediately, the first example I think of is Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. This game was around only 10 hours long, albeit it wasn't a AAA title. It was a AA title, which has been around for uh, the last few years, I want to say. And for the length it was, it was great. It did not overstay its welcome. It was there for the time you experienced its narrative, and then it was done with. And that's what made it so good. And another recent example is Miles Morales, Spider-Man Miles Morales. Sure, sure, some would argue that maybe it's a little too short, and that's an understandable criticism of the game, but I would rather take a game that's maybe a little too short than one that's overly bloated. And you gotta spend playing for like 60 hours and up just to get to the main story. So, maybe it could have lasted a little bit longer, but it was great nonetheless because of that. It did not overstay its welcome. Maybe it left a little too early, maybe it left the party earlier than people were expecting, you know? It was the, it was the main crown achievement of the night. It was the main attraction everyone, everyone wanted to be around until it decided to leave us. It said it was gonna come back and it never did. And now we're waiting another two years, probably. Maybe another year, depending on how long Spider-Man 2 gets done with. But that's besides the point. Point being is that shorter games are good. And I feel like, in general, they'd probably not cost as much to make. I don't know this. I'm just guessing here. But I feel like they probably would make less to make. Because I feel like a lot of that marketing money, or a lot of the money that goes towards game development is mainly towards the marketing of said game. That's what I was trying to say. It's not my day today, as you can all tell. <laughs> oh boy. Anyways, um, I feel like games would be cheaper, and I feel like because they'd be cheaper and they'd be shorter, it'd be easier for games to get done with quicker. They wouldn't take nearly as long because of this. They wouldn't be as expensive. They wouldn't need to spend nearly as many resources on that game, which would mean not needing to have a need for microtransactions nearly as much multiplayer games i guess i can tolerate it but single player fuck that there is no excuse marvel spider-man and miles morales once again prove that to be true god of war proved that last of us 2 regardless of my issues with it there's no microtransactions there that's something i gotta respect sony for sure they're greedy the fact that they're doing the 70 dollar price increase is bullshit and they are greedy but that's something i have to give them credit for and uh, since we're talking about longer games and shorter games, I also got to give Ubisoft credit for this. <laughs> Having games stay at only $60, $60, only more if it's like a special edition. Like, there, there's no reason for games to be $70. The, these games still have special editions of $100 and microtransactions of all kinds, their live services and all that. There's no reason. But we're getting off topic. Uh, go, just going back to uh, to the actual purpose of this video, shorter games are just, in my opinion, in most cases, they're better. Because I said this in, in the Assassin's Creed video not too long ago, that most games have no reason to be as long as they are. Only a select few have any reason to be more than 60 hours. Like, there's a reason why a lot of games that are still pop popular after so many years are popular. It's mainly because of things like mod support, which is fresh and interesting content. A lot of big games just don't have that. There's no reason for them to be that big, and I just feel like it'd be better for everyone, and I feel like since developers and publishers probably wouldn't be spending as much on a bigger project, just one big game, they could put resources elsewhere towards other projects and other types of games, even games outside of a, a usual genre that they usually stick with, you know, maybe 
the COD developers want to start doing something not COD or even FPS related. Maybe they want to experiment to a different experiment with a different genre and you know re really expand their horizons as developers that'd be interesting i mean treyarch used to do that until activision told them you're only working on black ops as they continue to you know whip them because that's activision for you so um yeah i just feel like in, in general shorter games would be better and i'm not trying to sound like a boomer or nothing like that but something that was better with older games was the fact that none of them were that long or if they were, they were like maybe 30 hours long at most. And it was great if you just wanted to play the single player. Not single player. The main <laughs> the main storyline aspect of it. Then uh, you could probably knock it out within 10 to 15, perhaps 20 hours. But if you wanted to do other content, it could maybe take up to 40 to 50. But you didn't have to. And that was great. But all these bloated ass open world games, it's fucking old now. Like, e even... Even games that aren't big in terms of content, as in not being over open world, for example, but still being big in terms of how much space they take up. An example of that is definitely Modern Warfare. The game doesn't even fit on a solid state drive anymore when you install the whole thing. It's bigger than a solid state drive, an SSD. How is that even possible? How is the compression for this game so bad that it doesn't even fit on an SSD? This has to be done on purpose to avoid having room to put other games on your on your console or on your PC. This has to be done on purpose in order to just have Call of Duty. This has to be. But that's what I think. That's another issue, though. I don't think I'll make a video dedicated to that specific topic, but I just wanted to say something about that because that's fucking annoying. There's no reason for games to be as big as they are. The compression is so fucking ridiculous now, or just lack thereof, is... It's ridiculous. It's so stupid. Like, stop it. Give us normal-sized games. Enough of this bullshit. Especially because a lot of this content that you're putting in that are like 10 to 20 gigabytes in size, 30, 40, 50, 60, get, it, these updates are, are just free DLC, free DLC that's already there in the game. It's it just locked until it's made available with these free updates. Like, it, it's just a spit in the face, really. Games have no reason to be big in any size, shape, or form. Most of them should not be that big. In general, smaller games are better. That's why Mafia Definitive Edition was so good. It only took 10 hours, but those were 10 hours that I loved spending with the game. And to me, quantity does not matter when it comes to quality. Quality over quantity any day, as the industry should be. But like any, like most industries in existence, when, especially when it comes to entertainment, gaming is very oversaturated. There's so much shit releasing. So much trash to, to have to swim through. It's just, it's all so bloated, bro. This, this whole industry is just so bloated with so much shit. It, it's crazy. It's really crazy. So, in general, I guess the whole point of the video is just, hopefully the industry in general will just improve with a lot of things. Like, at the end of the day, I'm just speaking right off the top of my head. That That's just how I do it. And that's what I wanted to say. What are your thoughts, guys? You like shorter games, you prefer longer ones, you like ones with the same repetitive task for like a hundred different randomly generated quests. You, you guys into that? Let me know in the comment section below. T tell me if you're playing the game because you have to play it that long because that's how long it gets. You have to, to play it to get through. Or are you playing it because you actually enjoy it? Are you playing it because you have to play it that long or because you actually like playing it? Please tell me. I would really like to know. I'm very curious. So, <laughs> so there you go. That's the video. Hope you, uh, you hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, le make sure to subscribe, and turn on the notification bell and set it to all notifications for some videos in the future. And I'll see you all next time. But until then, I'm out. Later.